Okay, in this video today, I want to show the Samsung Galaxy Note. This is the original Galaxy Note. And I want to show it running the newest KitKat launcher. Kind of give a little bit of a taste of KitKat on, on here. So you can see it's got this KitKat launcher where it slides over into Google Now. Now, my Galaxy Note's running the official uh, 4.12 Jelly Bean from, from Samsung. Just show you that real quick. So you can see right there, running 4.1.2. So it's definitely Jelly Bean, but to have a little flavor of um, of this Android 4.4, you can install this launcher on here. Now, <clears throat> I'll show you quickly how to put it on. It's pretty simple of how to uh, to get this launcher onto your phone. Um, so I'll give a link to this website right here, and this one's worked just as good as any. There's probably lots of places you could download it, but this is one place. So on this website, you scroll down here to where it says down, downloading this link. Click on that, and then you want to, to download that. Now when you download that, it's going to save it as a .zip. So you're going to want to open that, and then you're going to want to extract those three files. So you just take those three files, extract them, and the file is well zipped. It's 24, uh, 25 megabytes. Unzipped, it's 34.3 megabytes. Most of that, though, is the reason it's so big is due to the fact that it uh, contains the Android 4.4 wallpapers, and I'll show you that just in a, in a second. But you want to you want to unzip that. Have those three files unzipped. Okay, so that's these three files right here. So you have your Google Home, and all these are .apks. So Google Home .apk, this pre-built GMS Core .apk, and then the Velvet .apk. So you want to take those three um, files and you want to put those onto your phone. So just plug your phone into your computer. If you downloaded this on your computer, plug your phone into your computer and put these three files over onto your phone, whether you put it on your phone storage or on the card storage, either one. You just want to put these three files onto your phone. Okay, so once you get those three files on your phone, so back over to here, <clears throat> one thing you need to make sure of is... Under settings, come on. Under settings, you want to go to security and make sure under security that this unknown sources is checked so it'll let you install these three different APKs. Okay, so, so what you want to do is uh, go over to your file manager, whatever that is. If you're on a stock ROM, it's going to say my files or something to that effect. So you want to go to that. So you want to go to all files. And then wherever you put that on your phone, you're going to have to go and find it. Now, I downloaded this directly to my phone, so that's where it's at for me. It's, on, um, it's, it's here in my downloads folder. So here are, those, here are those three files that we had out on our desktop, the pre-built GMS Core, Velvet.apk and this Google Home. So, <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to install this one first. So it's going to say this is a system application. Do you want to replace it? Just push OK. I've already I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do it again. So once you get that one, then you're going to install the velvet.apk again this is a system application so you just push OK it'll install that that's the uh, that's the search the Google search and then this Google Home this is the launcher so on that one you'll click um, you'll click OK again on that to replace that and it'll give you your um, it'll <clears throat> set that as your as your launcher okay so once you get that set, and once you push home the first time, it's going to give you the option of, of whether you want to use that launcher or your current launcher, which will be like the 
TW Home, which stands for TouchWiz Home or something like that. You should want to click on the launcher, the blue one with the little house shape in it, and then push Always, and then that way it'll set that as your as your default launcher. And so then this is what you get, is you get this this launcher where you can go to your Google Now. Now one thing, so <clears throat> on the home screen here, if you long press, if you go into Settings, you need to make sure that this Google Now is selected to on. If you have that turned off, then whenever you try to swap over, it won't swap over because you don't have Google Now turned on. So make sure you go into Settings and that you turn that Google Now on. So that now I can go over here, swipe over, and um, I just installed this. This is my wife's phone. Just put it on there, and um, she really has never used Google Now, so she doesn't have any cards. But you know, as you search for things, uh, you know, if you have a favorite sports team, it'll show you know the game they have coming up next. Um, once you start driving a lot and you start going to a particular place, it'll say, "Do you want na show navigation to that place?" Um, it'll show weather, where you're currently at, all that type of stuff. Um, so you have that. Also, once you install this, you're get, you'll have the ability to do this from any home screen. It's always listening, and you can say, "Okay, Google, what is the square root of 36?" Square root 36 is six. Or you can say, "Okay, Google, navigate from Dallas, Texas, to New Orleans, Louisiana." So you can do that. Um, and so it's always listening. So, you know, it it makes it real simple to, to be able to access Google from any of your home screens here. Um, so for a little while, people thought there was only two home screens here, but it's real easy to add one. If you just take an icon and just take it over here, you can add, I don't know how many you can add, but you can add as many here's you really are going to need so you have that ability to do that <clears throat> so as I said a second ago one reason that that file is so big is because it includes the the Android 4.4 wallpapers which I think are are uh, pretty nice wallpapers so that one set wallpaper and this wallpaper setter that's built into KitKat with this launcher is very intuitive just set your wallpaper and it just works. So I, I definitely like that. It's pretty nice. Um, so you have all these different wallpapers that come with it that are that are nice high resolution wallpapers. So there you go, Galaxy, the original Galaxy Note running running the KitKat 4.4 wall uh, launcher runs pretty smoothly. And it gives you gives you some added functionality, being able to swipe over here to your Google now and saying, "Okay, Google, I'm just doing that just that easy." So there you go. Thanks for watching today.